so guys most of us understand the concept of stop loss orders right so let's say for example you bought a stock at 100 rupees you can place a stop loss order at let's say 95 rupees right so if the stock let's say falls down to 95 rupees your stop loss order will get triggered it will take you out of the trade and protect you from taking any further loss right so stop loss orders are a very simple very easy form of risk management however there is another very interesting use of stop loss orders that has nothing to do with risk management and that is what i want to show uh, in this particular video now i know that some of you experienced it as you probably already know this but most of the beginners they don't right so that is why i'm making this video guys for everybody's benefit i i want to show what is the secret use of stop loss order and i will explain that using a live example so that everything becomes crystal clear from a real life perspective so watch this video very carefully understand exactly how the whole system works and at the end of the video i will also give you some caution or warning do not forget to listen to that because it will save you from making some very expensive mistakes right okay so having said that what is the secret use of stop loss orders so let me take an example because it is easier to explain it that way so let's say there is a stock that is trading in a range of 100 rupees to 100 and five rupees right it goes up it comes down it goes up it comes down it's basically not doing anything it is just trading in that range but you have been watching that stock and you have a conviction that at some point of time this stock will break out of this range and when that breakout happens you are expecting the stock to make a huge move right now whatever your reasoning might be it can be based on some technical factors or fundamental factors or maybe a combination of that you are waiting for the breakout to happen and as soon as the breakout happens you want to take a trade and take advantage of this opportunity but here is your problem first thing is that you don't know if the breakout will happen or not you are thinking it would be but it may not happen right so you cannot just take a trade in the anticipation of a breakout second thing is that you don't know exactly when the breakout will happen so it can happen today at 10 o'clock or at 3 pm or it can happen tomorrow or the day after you don't know exactly when the breakout will happen because you remember you are only going to take the trade after the breakout happens not before that after the stock has gone above 105 rupees you want to take the trade right so you don't know the timing of the breakout so you don't know when to place that order and if you think that okay you know what i will just place an order for 105 rupees right now then what will happen is that if the stock is trading at let's say 103 rupees today you place an order for 105 rupees that order will get executed right away right but you don't want that to happen now you are waiting for the breakout to happen only when the breakout happens and the stock goes above 105 only then you want to take that trade so it is conditional order you want to take the trade only and only if there is a breakout and the price goes above 105 so this is the place where the stop loss orders will come to your rescue right so what you can do in this particular situation is that you can create a stop loss buy order with a trigger price of 105 rupees right now trigger price is basically nothing but the price at which the order gets activated so if you place this particular order and let's say the stock is trading below 105 rupees and 102 rupees 103 100 400 uh, 4.5 also the order will not get executed the order will not get triggered it will basically do nothing it will just keep waiting and waiting and waiting to get executed but if the breakout happens and when the breakout happens and the price of the stock goes to 105 rupees then the order will get triggered and executed now let me show you a live example of how this is done so that it will make much more sense so this right here is the stock of hindustan petroleum hpcl and hpcl broke out today this morning it already has gone up about two and a half percent now i am expecting hpcl to go up even further but i'm not very sure that there is more steam left in this particular stock right it might even be the case that hpcl only had this buying momentum in the first half in the first 15 20 minutes and the rest of the day it can just keep falling down right so i don't know that so what i can say is that you know what i don't know whether there is going to be another further round of up move on hpcl but if hpcl goes above 307 rupees which is right here then it is possible that there is more up move left in hpcl 
so i want to take a long position i want to buy shares of hpcl if this is a condition if hpcl goes above 307 rupees right so this is the condition now how will i do that well it's very simple i will create a buy order and i'm going to make it of a stop loss market order and i will give the trigger price as 307 rupees right and i will place the order now as you can see that this order is sitting right there it's not doing anything right it is just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting till the price of hpcl goes up to 307 rupees now for the case of this particular example i want my order to get executed so let's say i just bring it down from let's say 307 to 306 rupees right so i can modify this order here now let's see what happens right so there you go there you go you see this with this bar the price of hpcl went above 306 rupees and as soon as it did my stop loss order which was sitting right there got executed and now i am in a long position on hpcl right so this particular long position that you are seeing on hpcl it was created by a stop loss order from here onwards it just acts like a regular long position and as you can see that hpcl went up a little bit so let me just you know book my profit here and uh, later in the day you can also see that how hpcl uh, you know went up uh, to 310 rupees or thereabouts right so i hope guys using this example you understood how stop loss orders work now there are many variations i just took one simple setup right there are many many variations a range bound breakout or a cup and a handle kind of a breakout which we just saw there are i would say you know 30 or 40 different variations in which you can use the stop loss orders but the concept remains the same only when the price is breached either on the upside or on the downside that you want to enter into the position and up until that happens you are only going to stay out and wait and wait and wait for the confirmation so that is what basically guys i wanted to share in this video but there is one important caution one important warning that i want to give you and please pay very close attention to that see when you are using a stop loss order to enter into the position the price at which you are entering is normally going to be either the high of the day in case of a long position or low of the day in case of a short position right so in case of hpcl i basically bought it 306 rupees which was the highest price of that day now what can happen is that you entered into the position with the expectation that hpcl will keep going higher and higher but what if hpcl goes up to 306 rupees trigger your order and you know gets you into a long position but immediately after that it starts going down now you are in a trade where you entered at the highs of the day right and if hpcl keeps going down and down you are going to keep losing more and more money right so the caution that i have for you guys is that this technique of entering into a trade using stop loss order should only be used if you have a very strong conviction that the move which is going to come after the breakout is going to be much bigger unless you have that conviction you should not be using this technique for entering into a position because the price at which you are entering is going to be very very high or very very low depending on it's a long trade or a short trade and that can cause you to take some significant losses right so keep that caution in mind use this as one of the tools for your trading purpose it can be used for positional trading it can be used for intraday trading but keep this idea in mind and use it only when you see fit and i am hoping that you will use it wisely and take advantage of some of the breakouts that happen in the market right so that is it guys i hope this video helped you and if you have any questions please let us know in the comments below